Hello friends and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A55 against the S24. Right now we are recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. Tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has better colors and which one has a better audio. Let's begin with some samples captured using their main cameras. Before we dive in, I want to explain how we conducted the testing. All the daylight photos were taken in auto mode with scene optimizer turned on. However, I made sure to disable all beauty filters and other AI options. In terms of regular daylight photos, the A55 performs surprisingly well and stands up comparably to the S24. While the flagship produces slightly more vibrant images, given its nearly double price compared to the A55, the difference isn't significant. The Galaxy S24 performs better in darker areas. As evident from these samples, shadow regions are much clearer and more refined compared to the A55. The newly announced A55 captures pictures with a cooler tone, whereas those taken with the flagship S24 are warmer, and in my opinion, they look slightly better. Besides that difference, they remain quite similar. Overall, based on my testing with their main cameras, the A55 is an inferior to the S24. While the latter is a bit sharper and has slightly better refined light colors, considering its price, the A55 performs impressively well. Both devices feature ultra-wide cameras, and compared to their main lenses, I believe the difference is more noticeable in favor of the S24. The image captured with the A55 appears a bit washed out, and the colors are not as accurate. The S24 maintains the original colors of its main camera, while the ultra-wide camera of the A55 captures pictures with a different color tone compared to its primary lens. However, this difference isn't significant and wouldn't really matter to a regular user. The Samsung Galaxy S24 also outperforms the A55 when it comes to capturing the sky. If you look at the sky in the A55 picture, you'll notice that around the trees, it has a different color tone, but in the S24 picture on the right, the sky looks stunning. Shadow areas, much like with the main cameras, remain brighter and more visible on the S24, even when using the ultra-wide cameras. When we zoom in at 2x with both phones, both perform well, but in my opinion, the S24 exhibits better colors and appears to retain more details. At 3x zoom, the Galaxy S24 switches to its telephoto camera, while the A55 relies on digital zoom. Surprisingly, the difference isn't as significant, with the A55 keeping up very well. Once again, at 2x zoom, both rely on their main sensors, and they continue to appear similar. I would even go as far as to say that the A55 looks slightly better. At 3x zoom, the S24 appears to be sharper, but to truly notice this, we have to crop in further. Obviously, we can see that the picture on the right is sharper, but I must say I'm really impressed with the A55. The Samsung Galaxy A55 also features a macro camera, while the S24 doesn't even have a macro mode. This is the closest I could capture the picture without losing focus with the main camera. Naturally, the A55 looks better in this aspect. When the S24 uses its telephoto camera, its picture becomes much better than the macro picture taken with the A55. It's even sharper compared to that device. This just shows that having a telephoto lens is much more useful than a dedicated macro lens. When capturing portraits, it's evident that the S24 performs much better. This is an area where the A55 just can't keep up, as my face, hair, and even the background don't look as good as on the S24. In this other sample, once again, we can see that the S24 is doing a much better job with my skin color, and overall, the entire picture has a warmer tone and looks better. Probably the most significant difference between these devices when it comes to daylight is with their front cameras. Here, we can see that my skin color is much better preserved on the S24 compared to the A55, which isn't really showing how I look in real life. Truth be told, the S24 isn't really the best flagship when it comes to skin colors, 
but here it is doing a much better job compared to the A55. The latter has just been announced, and I think with an update, this can be fixed. When recording with their main cameras we can see that both are really good. The S24 has slightly more pleasing colors and it seems to be doing a bit better with stabilization but for the most part the A55 is really keeping up. I didn't expect it to be almost as good as the S24. With their ultra-wide cameras the difference in stabilization becomes bigger in favor of the more expensive S24 but truly speaking it isn't twice as good as the prices suggest. I did also use a special tripod for recording and in real life footage might be slightly worse. Videos at 3x really show us the difference between a flagship that uses a telephoto sensor and a mid-range that crops in with the main lens. The S24 is really stable while the video recorded with the A55 is nowhere near as good. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled. In this first sample with their front cameras, both are really good. Surprisingly the A55, contrary to daylight, is performing much better and almost matches the S24. The flagship phone still displays more accurate skin colors, but when it comes to details, both are almost identical. Surprisingly, the mid-range A55 is even brighter, as seen here on my jacket. When it comes to the primary cameras in this particular sample, the S24 is fantastic. It is very detailed, and the light sources are better handled. The A55, on the other hand, doesn't look as sharp, but this only happened to me once, as in other cases, it performed better. In this next example, we can clearly see that both are really great. The river, the greenery, and the wall look almost exactly the same on both devices, while the trees and the lights appear slightly better on the S24. However, the gap in quality between them is minimal. The Galaxy S24 typically captures brighter pictures, and while brighter doesn't always mean better, in this situation, I believe it's ahead of the A55. However, the mid-range phone isn't bad at all. If I hadn't compared it with the S24, I would have been satisfied with this picture. The Galaxy S24 is typically sharper. If we focus on these bushes or even the tree in the background, we can notice that the S24 retains more details. Considering its price, the A55 isn't bad at all. Similar to the daytime, even at night, the difference becomes more noticeable in favor of the S24 when we switch to their ultra-wide cameras. The photo taken with the flagship is brighter, sharper, and boasts better colors. The A55 still snaps really nice photos, especially considering it's just a mid-range phone. In my view, its pictures are more than okay, and sometimes, like in this example, they almost rival those from the S24. On the flip side, in examples like this, you can notice they use different processing styles. The S24 gives off a yellowish tone, but it's brighter, while the A55 has more natural colors, though it's not as bright as the S24. I mostly feel the S24's ultra-wide camera is better, but the gap isn't as huge as the price difference implies. When taking pictures at 2x zoom, we see completely different outcomes. The S24's image is sharper, with all the leaves in focus, while the A55's picture is chaotic and unfocused. This becomes even clearer when snapping shots at 3x, where the S24 switches to its telephoto camera. During the day, the digital zoom on the A55 was decent, but at night, it falls short completely. In certain examples like this, the A55 performs better compared to before, but the S24 still holds the upper hand. We have entirely distinct results even when it comes to portraits. The S24 is doing better with my face and the background while the A55 is actually preserving my sweater better. Personally, I like the S24, but if you prefer the A55 let me know in the comment section below. I think that the S24 won this comparison but honestly speaking the A55 wasn't that far behind and in some cases it was nearly as good as its more expensive brother. At least when it comes to the cameras the A55 isn't inferior at all. If you did enjoy this video a thumbs up would be appreciated. 
Thank you for watching and for more content like this please consider subscribing to my channel.